Okay, so today's reaction was just pathetic. However, Tesla shares have approached a decisive support level and now it is trying to stabilize. We don't see any incredible bullish confirmation signal. However, it is still trading above its key support levels. Either way, something important is going to materialize soon. This is a critical moment for Tesla stock as whatever happens here is going to dictate the next mid-term movement. So let's see what's going on here. But first, welcome to the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan. It is very nice to meet you guys. So let's start our analysis looking at the broad market, starting with the S&P index SPY ETF because, because when we finish analyzing the broad market, you will understand better what's going on on Tesla and on other stocks as well. You'll see why this is so annoying. First, we see that SPY ETF is climbing, right? It is just flying. We don't see any major top signal getting triggered, okay? We see multiple top signals over here, right? However, none of them are getting triggered. What's more, the 21 exponential moving average is going up. It is approaching the price as well. And uh, even if even if SPY corrects, we're going to see a possible support level at the 21 EMA. So crystal clear bull trend. SPY has been doing absolutely nothing but higher highs, higher lows, right? We see a series of higher highs, higher lows. It is always breaking the previous top levels. And this is it. Amazing crystal clear bull trend. Now, when we look at the SPY, uh, SPY, I'm so sorry, at QQQ ETF over here, which is the NASDAQ index ETF, we see that uh, we are not that bullish. In fact, we are making a new, a new lower high. We don't see any lower lows yet. We don't see any major bearish structure, which is lower highs, lower lows. However, we are making a lower high right now. And this is very problematic. And this reinforces that the support level around the $372 is our major support level. Because if we lose this key point over here, along with the 21 EMA, we are going to materialize a bearish reversal structure. And then the NASDAQ ETF is going to engage a bear trend again, meaning we could see a sharper correction on the weekly chart. And this is very problematic. So right now, tech stocks are in a very delicate situation. However, SPY ETF is still incredibly bullish, while the Dow Jones ETF is also very bullish. However, it feels like we are trying to stabilize in this area as well. So as we can see here, we see that the market is incredibly uncertain right now. Uncertainty is the key word that defines this market as of today. So right now the situation couldn't be worse. I mean, situations like situations like this are so hard and so complex because it is not like uh, the broad market is bullish or bearish, right? Because it is easy to trade when the market is bullish. It is easy to trade when the market is bearish. But uh, when we see many mixed signals like these, the situation gets very, very complex. And this is why we see many stocks like Apple doing one thing. However, Microsoft is doing another. We see Google doing another thing. We see Amazon uh, also doing another thing while Tesla. Tesla is uh, trading around the 21 MA on the daily chart. So this is, why I'm, this is why I'm telling you guys, we are not bearish yet. Tesla could engage in a bearish momentum Yes, it could. But uh, as long as we stay, uh, as, as long as we keep dancing around the 21 MA on the daily chart, as long as we don't see any clear major bearish structure around, Tesla is not going to truly engage a bearish momentum. Of course, the bull trend, the uptrend over here got weaker because we made a new lower low. We don't see lower highs yet, but we do see a lower low. We lost the previous support level over here at three, 300, I'm so sorry, 
$265 over here, right? We lost this support level. We are now around the 21 EMA on the daily chart. So we are not incredibly bullish as before, but we are, we are not bearish as well. And uh, what, what's, what's the problem here? What's going on? If we take a look at a few indicators, we see that Tesla, Tesla shows a negative divergence on the RSI since the end of June, right? See, for one month, we see nothing but a negative divergence over here. We are doing lower highs, lower lows on the RSI. Of course, the OBV doesn't show any divergence and we are still trading above the 50 period moving average on the daily chart, which is also good. But uh, we see these mixed signals on Tesla stock as well. If we take a look at the weekly chart over here, on the weekly chart, last week, I'm so sorry, last week, no, two weeks ago, we did a massive bearish candlestick pattern, right? Of course, this is because of earnings, but still, it was a massive bearish candlestick pattern just under the $300, which was our original target since, since when Tesla was here, trading around the bottom level of this flag chart pattern on April. And then we did talk about this a lot on this channel. We nailed it. This movement over here, this entire movement, it was nailed by us here on this channel. Therefore, if you are not my subscriber yet, consider subscribing because I'm here every single day to keep you guys updated on Tesla stock, uh, the S&P, NASDAQ, etc. So come on, join our channel, right? I'm sure you are going to find something useful over here, okay? So right now, we see a crystal clear bearish candlestick pattern. Okay, bearish pattern, right? Under our target at $300. All right, but this pattern over here wasn't officially triggered. I mean, we lost the 262 key point, which was this gap area over here, but uh, we failed in closing below this candlestick low over here, meaning we couldn't trigger this candlestick pattern, which in my humble opinion was a bearish engulfing candlestick pattern. So, okay, we failed in triggering this key point, this key bearish candlestick pattern. However, there is still a chance that we are going to trigger it. If this scenario materializes, I see Tesla retesting the $217 again. Would this ruin the bullish momentum on the weekly chart? No, because uh, some people get mad when I say that Tesla is bullish on the weekly chart, but guys, we made a crystal clear higher high, higher low. We triggered a bullish pivot point. So in theory, we could correct all the way down to the 217, which was the previous top level over here, right? And this is it. The trend would still be bullish on the weekly chart for the first time since 2021, when Tesla was above the $400, we see that Tesla did trigger a bullish pivot point. And of course, it, it also triggered this bullish flag chart pattern, which is an amazing bullish reversal structure. So long term speaking, on the weekly chart, Tesla is still bullish and it is going to remain bullish even if it drops, even if it drops uh, 17% to our next support level at 217. So long term speaking, Tesla still looks very good. As far as I know, any pullback would be just, <clears throat> I'm so sorry, would be just an opportunity to buy. Now, on the daily chart, no, no, wait, wait, wait. On the monthly chart, this is where the situation gets a little bit interesting because on the monthly chart over here, we see a very, very small, pathetic candlestick pattern. It feels like it is a spinning top candlestick pattern. Of course, it could be, right? This is a real possibility. However, it feels to me that this is just a, a classic, a typical stabilization candlestick. I mean, Tesla went up from... Uh, Tesla did an insane rally from 162 to the $300. It went up 84%. Essentially, in one single bullish leg, right? As seen over here on the monthly chart. So right now, it is quite normal to see Tesla stabilize. I mean, two months ago, it went up 24%. Last month, it went up 28%. So 
So guys, naturally we're gonna see some correction and uh, this month we are going up 1.70% right now at this moment. Okay, great, this is fantastic. To me, it is just a signal of stabilization. This is it. Now, now mid-term speaking, all right, let me erase this draws over here. So mid-term speaking, we see that this entire month, Tesla did absolutely nothing. Just like today, right? Today's candle is pathetic. Just like on the monthly chart, this candlestick looks also pathetic. So right now, it feels like we are just doing a sideways correction, waiting for the 21 MA to catch up with the price, waiting for more stabilization in order for Tesla to resume the bullish bias, of course. We don't see any incredible confirmation signal yet, but we could see one soon. Now, do you want to hear something amusing? You know, I share my signals and I do share many auto trading signals on our Telegram channel. So if you want to trade with me, if you want to get access to more sophisticated signals on Tesla and on other stocks, just join our Telegram channel. And so far, we are doing very well, this month, for instance, I share my swing trading auto signal on Tesla stock and uh, while Tesla is performing a little bit more than essentially 2% this month, our auto trading signal had a performance of 8%. So it is possible to beat the market, it is possible to beat Tesla's performance over here through our active management. And if you want to join us again, just join our Telegram channel. The link is in the description of this video. And of course, remember to follow this channel, to subscribe, to keep in touch with my daily analysis here on Tesla Stock and on other stuff as well. I appreciate your audience, my dear friends. Have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.